part six, a uh, part four, matrix-based method. So this is a very interesting method from our textbook. So I like you to implement it. The whole method is based on this formula, matrix-based method. So you can see we use several Fibonacci numbers, f of n minus 1, f of n, and f of n plus 1. These three numbers we organize as a 2 by 2 matrix. And this formula tells us this simple 2 by 2 matrix, 0, 1, 1, 1, simple 2 by 2 matrix, we do multiplication n times. Then it will give us the Fibonacci number arranged in this 2x2 two two matrix. Very neat. A very beautiful formula. The most important thing from this formula, it can allow us to get a big O of log of n algorithm. How about that? Algorithm. So you can see great improvement from big O of n. So our first method, big O of n, already pretty good, but this one, big O of log of n. Huge improvement. Yeah, you can see. Yeah. All right, but, but here we need to use two by two matrix operation. Two by two matrix operation. Yeah. Uh, I feel some of you may not be familiar with matrix operations yeah, because that's the linear algebra part. Yeah. So linear algebra. Content. Many of you may not have that background, but here, don't worry. Here, we only need to do one special two by two matrix multiplication. That's all we need. Okay, two by two matrix multiplication. That's all we need. Okay, yeah. All right. So here, let me write that. 2 by 2 matrix multiplication. Yeah. The product, so here I, I look at the general A2, B2, C2, D2, 2 by 2 matrix. Suppose this matrix equals the product A0, B0, C0, D0. A1, B1, C1, D1. Okay. Yeah. Given the first 2 by 2 matrix, given the second 2 by 2 matrix, how do we calculate the product of two 2 by 2 matrices? Do not just do corresponding entry multiplication. That will not be correct. Okay. Yeah. The correct formula is. A2, this row multiply that column, corresponding entry multiplication adding together. A2 equals A0, A1 plus B0, C1. Okay, yeah, or, you know. The first matrix we take row by row, second matrix we take column by column. Okay, all right. Then B2 equals still the first row, but this time we do entry-wise multiplication, adding together. Yeah. Sometimes we call it inner product. Yeah, inner product with the second column. Yeah. So A0, B1 plus B0, D1. Okay. So that's the... A to B to the first row. 
C two D two. So C two equals the second row C zero D zero. Multiply the first column in the product first. C zero A one plus D zero B one. Okay, then D two entry equals C zero B one plus D zero D one. Okay, so you do these basic operations. After that, you arrange them in that two by two format. Then you get the result matrix product. Okay, all right. So that is the way you do the basic operation. Yeah. All right, but in our program, so in our program, so how do we implement in our program? So here, let me talk about implementation. Yeah. Although you can have your own way to do implementation here. So my way, so I did it. Yeah, I just made that pro project myself. So I used two hours. Yeah, so I used two hours to, you know, complete our project number one. So then I can talk about that. I can show you. I can do the demo. Yeah, but in my next video, I will show you the demo. So this one, I will not show you the de demo. Yeah, otherwise it will be too long. This video. So in my implementation, I create a special Java class. Yeah. So the data structure we need to organize our matrix data. So data structure, data structure, you know, st st structure. All right. Yeah. So I create a class I call Fibo. Matrix, right? To store that two by two. So remember that that format. Okay. Yeah. So in that one, yeah, I need to use four instance variables. Variables. Okay. Yeah. So this upper left entry. Yeah. So you know. Yeah. All big integer. Okay. Each one is a big integer. Yeah. So you know, private. We know private. So I do not. Write. So what upper left. Entry, okay. Big integer, upper right entry, okay. Big integer, lower left entry. Big integer, lower, right, entry. Okay. Yeah. After that, yeah, so that's, we organize the data in this object, Fibo matrix object. Then we need to generate setters and getters. Setter and the getters, so you know that. Yeah, in order to modify the data stored in these four instance variable, we need to use corresponding setters and the getters. Yeah, in Eclipse you can generate automatically. Yeah, although you can type, but takes a lot of time. So you just use Eclipse built in, you know, source. So when you go to source. Menu, you right click, you know, 
right click yeah right click somewhere so you put a mouse cursor here right click so you get a you know drop down menu you try to find a source source you know generate setters getters okay so then in a window you select all you know all the instance variable click you know generate yeah so then you just you know modify slightly the format modify slightly so you can get setters and the getters but after that you need to implement the matrix multiplication operation so we have that okay yeah implement uh, suppose we call it matrix yeah. method <clears throat> let's call it matrix multiply okay yeah so you need a parameter right yeah so that fibo matrix <laughs> okay yeah fibo matrix uh f m1 okay all right then because this method is inside this class inside okay yeah and this class has this set of instance variables here yeah and at this part we make it correspond to a0 b0 c0 d0 in the previous slide i talk when i talk about make tricks multiplication yeah. and this one fm1 this object corresponds to a1 b1 c1 d1 and this method returns a five ball matrix object and this object corresponds to the product okay so a to b to c to d to yeah so the their relationships given from the you know previous slide for example here i just use one example a2 equals a0 times a1 plus b0 times c1 right but when you do this operation using the big integer operation big integer operation okay so you have a multiplication operation between two big integers multiplication operation between another two big integers then addition between two big integers so you need to do these three big integer operations two multiplications and one addition then you get this a2 big integer okay yeah being the you know this object a2 that instance variable after that b2 instance variable c2 instance variable d2 instance variable you return the you know whole product object okay all right so then this way you complete one matrix product after you have this one now you can use this one matrix multiplication method then later you can do multiple times using the repeat uh repeated squaring operation repeated squaring okay repeated squaring yeah 
So I talk about that in my last video. Yeah. And when I show you demo, so I talk about, you know, what I need in this project in the last video. So, all right, so let me complete this one first.